Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Rebound Relationships, Dumper Perspective. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing rebound relationships, dumper perspective. So if you believe that your ex is currently in a rebound relationship, please let me know in the comments about your situation. Describe your relationship that you had with your ex. Let me know how long you have been split up and inform me of how long your ex took before they jumped into a relationship with somebody else. And we will see whether your situation ticks any of the boxes and showcases any of the red flags that rebound relationships often showcase. There is, of course, no guarantee that a rebound relationship will stay a rebound relationship in the basic terms. You know, a rebound relationship can technically evolve into something more substantial. But if a relationship has the red flags that I'm going to be discussing in today's podcast, then there is a very strong possibility that it will last only a number of months rather than years or beyond that. So let me know in the comments about your own situation, your own relationship, breakup and aftermath regarding yourself and your ex and if and when they got into a relationship with somebody new. So as today's podcast title suggests, we are going to be talking about the dumpers perspective from a rebound relationship in today's podcast. We're going to be looking at it from their point of view. So initially, we have to have a relationship with the dumper and the dumpy, of course, before they gained those titles when they was together in a loving relationship. And then what will happen is the dumper will lose romantic emotional attraction for the dumpy. This is why somebody becomes a dumper. This is why somebody, unfortunately, becomes a dumpy at some stage throughout the relationship. The person who will become the dumper loses romantic emotional attraction for their partner. It could be something that happens very, very slowly over time. It could be something that happens more sudden. But the ultimate reasoning behind this will be through an action or through growth. I've spoke about this in various other podcasts, so please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you can check out the other podcasts that I've done on this very subject. But the main thing to understand in today's podcast is that somebody will lose romantic emotional attraction for their partner and therefore will get to the stage where they decide to end the relationship. They then become the dumper and their partner becomes the dumpy. Now, When somebody loses romantic emotional attraction for somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean that they hate every single element of the relationship. They might have loved the vast majority of the relationship. They could have loved most of the relationship most of the time until very recently. This might not be the case, but it could easily be a situation where the dumpy has really been somebody very important in the dumper's mind up until very recently and quite suddenly. So it's important to understand this for how we move into the next section of today's podcast in describing the dumper's perspective of a rebound relationship because although the dumper has lost romantic emotional attraction for the dumpy, it does not mean that they are hating everything within the relationship. There are certain elements they are no doubt really, really enjoying still, even at the time they decided, look, I need to end this relationship. It's not working for me. Long term, I just don't see a future for me and you. And therefore, I have to end this relationship. Even when the dumper is thinking these things, there is a strong possibility that there are certain elements that they're still really enjoying within this relationship. So the dumper ends the relationship and they are now moving into single life. Now, of course, there is the chance that the dumper would have already been speaking to or had their eye on somebody during this transition between this relationship ending breaking up and then the moving to find somebody new. There is always this possibility that the dumper was already 
in cahoots, you might say, with somebody else, talking to somebody else, trying to chat them up. That is a possibility. But most instances don't showcase this. Most instances don't showcase any kind of infidelity on that side. They don't showcase any kind of preparation, you might say. In most regards, when a dumper ends a relationship, they are genuinely ending a relationship because they believe they will be better off as a single person during this time. They're thinking, for whatever reason, they're not wanting to be in a relationship. They feel possibly suffocated. They could feel that their life goals are being prevented. There could be a whole host of reasons as for why the dumper is thinking that single life is the thing for them right now. But they are genuinely, in most instances, looking forward to being a singleton. And that means doing your own thing, exploring your own possibilities, spending more time with your friends, and possibly having some short-term connections, possibly dating without the view of taking anything seriously. So a dumper is unlikely to be thinking, well, I'm going to end this relationship and then jump into something very serious very quickly all of a sudden. This is not really what most dumpers are thinking. Most dumpers are genuinely thinking that they just want to live their life as a single person and be a bit of a free spirit. So in the vast majority of cases, the dumper is missing certain elements of their previous relationship. They will be thinking this subconsciously or possibly even consciously. After a short period of time, these things will be playing on their mind. And it is often that cohabitation feeling that you have when you're in love with somebody and you're living with them, or maybe you're very, very close, even if you're not living with each other, maybe you're very, very close and you do a lot of things together. It's more than just casual dating. And that is often something that dumpers will miss, that feeling of being close with somebody and a lot closer than casual dating provides. So as the dumper moves into single life, they will no doubt have possibilities to start dating people and on their conscious level, they're probably thinking, I'm just going to go out on a few casual dates. This is what I want to be as a single person. I don't want to be tied down. But once they have a date or two with somebody, they might quickly start to be subconsciously mixing up all of their feelings where they're mixing the feelings that they are enjoying being on a date with the love and cohabitation that they experienced with their previous partner, even though they was probably with their previous partner for a sustained period. They probably didn't move in with their previous partner for months and months and months, if not years. They probably didn't go on holiday or vacation with their previous partner for a long, long time. Maybe it was like a year before they went on holiday with their previous partner. But this is all kind of mixing together with the feelings they're experiencing right now when they are dating. They're mixing this kind of lustful, fun feeling with the deep levels of longing for cohabitation. And this is why, from a dumpers perspective, that one of the main red flags happens for a rebound relationship. And that is that very soon after a breakup, that they will start to connect with somebody new very quickly. So a rebound relationship is not when an ex starts dating somebody new casually. So if you end a relationship and you date somebody a month or so down the line, it's very casual and everything, that is not a rebound relationship. You are not in a relationship, you're just dating. So if you are a dumpy and your ex dumped you and you hear on the grapevine that they have met somebody on a night out and they've seen them periodically, that is not a rebound relationship if they're just going on casual dates. Certainly not in my perspective. For me, a rebound relationship is where there is more intensity within the connection. So we're not talking about just casual dates. We're talking about something that gets very, very serious very, very quickly. And from the dumper's perspective, they will not see the signs that this is possibly a rebound relationship. They will see this as natural, as real, as genuine. And even though they don't really know somebody new, they will quite quickly want to move things forward very, very fast. That is a red flag of a rebound relationship. It's not only connecting with somebody new soon after a breakup, it's taking things very, very quickly. And as I said, one of the main things a dumper is missing is cohabitation. So if you find out that your ex is dating somebody and then all of a sudden they're living with each other within a month or two, if you find out they're already going on vacation together after a month or two, then you can totally see these red flags of a rebound relationship. A rebound relationship 
is where somebody has the relationship first and gets to know the person secondary. They get to know the person whilst they are doing the relationship. Most people, in ordinary circumstances, get to know each other, then decide if they would like to take the relationship to the next stage. A rebound relationship, it's all in reverse. They're having the relationship so quickly, they are experiencing all of these intense things, whereas they don't know each other on a fundamental level. And this is why most rebound relationships will not tick past the year mark. They will not last more than a year. Because by the time both people actually understand each other and really fully get to know each other, most people will realise that they're not actually a compatible match. Because most people aren't. And unfortunately, during this time, they've probably lived together for a certain period of time, although that is not necessarily what has to happen. They might have gone on holiday with each other after a very short period of time. Again, this doesn't have to happen. These are two examples I always like to give. But the main keys of a rebound relationship to understand are that things happen very, very quickly. You know, number one, somebody is connecting with somebody new very soon after a breakup and they're taking things very, very quickly. Number two, these things don't just go quickly. They prolong and they move into the next phase of a relationship much sooner than they should ever be. Generally, that is something like moving in with each other or going on vacation together, as I previously said. And number three one of the main parts of a rebound relationship is that it will end in a spectacular explosion just as quickly as it started because once they understand that they are not a serious connection once they understand they are not compatible that is when this relationship will explode it will end so from a dumpers perspective they are not seeing this potential end in sight they are not realizing that they don't know this person very well and it's quite unusual to be taking things so quickly and so powerfully and so importantly with them. You know, they are seeing this relationship as something that they feel that just feels very natural because they are blending the feelings of what they experienced in their previous long-term relationship with this new relationship. So it feels very safe. It feels very natural. It feels like something which makes a lot of sense even though to the outside world it makes no sense. How can you live with somebody after you met them two months ago? How can you go on holiday with somebody after a number of weeks? It doesn't make any sense to us on the outside looking in. But for those people who are experiencing a rebound relationship, from the dumpers perspective in particular, they are not seeing this like this. They are seeing this as it feels very natural very safe, very regular, because they're combining the feelings of lust and excitement of being single and dating somebody new, and they're combining this with the feelings that they're missing from their previous old relationship. They're mixing it with the feelings of cohabitation and acknowledging the fact that if they combine these two things, they're feeling like they're back on track. They want to rush this new relationship. They want to take it to the stage that their old relationship ended. In the dumper's mind, they are thinking, well, I ended this relationship because X, Y, and Z wasn't working, but I just want to kind of skip all of the hard work before you get to that stage and just get somebody new and get straight into where we were because I enjoyed that. I enjoyed going out to dinner with my new partner and my family, inviting everybody together and having a big kind of combination of, of people together because, you know, this is my partner now and this is how it is forever. They don't want to put in the hard work. They don't want to do all of the hard work that takes you to that stage, all of the build up, all of the time. They just want to rush to the point of where they have this ready-made connection, this ready-made family, you might say, because they don't want to put in the effort. And this is just because of the mindset of a dumper who has ended a relationship and is feeling all of these new things together and combining it with the feelings we had from a previous partner, none of which are going to make things sufficient. You know, if you're combining these sets of feelings, it is often very destructive because you've got to put in the hard work. You have to get to know somebody. You can't rush a relationship. And even though from a dumpers perspective, it feels very natural, from anybody else looking from the outside in, you can see that it is very unlikely to last long term. A rebound relationship can evolve into something more substantial. Not every rebound relationship will end in an explosion. Some will evolve and they will move forward into something more serious, which can last potentially forever. So even though we look at the red flags, there is no guarantees that this will end in an explosion within a year. But most relationships which showcase these red flags 
are rebound relationships and will last less than a year. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back. Or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah. Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.